Hey y'all, so today we are going to go over quite a few consignments. We've got some really neat cards here. I'm surprised at how many consignments are still coming in, but I'm happy to take them, that's for sure. We're going to start off right here with the Arceus V. It's a pre-order. It's the pre-order promo, Gem at 10, got a Narizu. I'm not really familiar with like which one of these Japanese full arts are actually going to be expensive. So if you guys see any in here that look like they're going to be pretty high priced, let me know. Looks like we're going to have quite a few alternate arts, rainbow rares on the English side, hyper rares on the Japanese side. Like this is Blue's Tactics. When this come out, I thought that was going to be a big card, but I think because it had a dude on it, it was actually one of the lower end full arts whereas if it has a girl they, they typically do better here you've got the rainbow rare on the english side and like i said on the japanese side it's hap or hyper rare got some trainer galleries got character secret rares got alternate arts you know i've thought to myself you know if each time one of these consignments come in and you know i have an issue with one of the alternate art cards if i just set them back here and there you know if they sell and there's a return or whatever i wonder if i could eventually pick up you know a full set of alternate art hollows that way but at the same time it's it's really not the best time to be investing in that stuff when it's new and hot so maybe i should wait a little bit beautiful glacian v there got the go lurk v some of these i didn't even realize were alternate arts so when i made that alternate art list for for you guys uh, a lot of people were saying i could include cards like this in which i almost get it i mean this is definitely a secret rare but at the same time Look at that. I mean, you got that Greninja and the Manaphy in there. It's, I mean, it's a really cool artwork, but I don't think that I can include that as an alternate art since it doesn't have another version of that same card within the set that is technically alternate, if that makes any sense. What do you guys think? Should that be in that, li in that list? There's the Inteleon VMAX alternate. Got the Hisuian Lilligant. Got the Lugia GX Mega Charizard. Got a Mega Rayquaza. We've got the Machamp Alt, Milo and Lana. That Mega Tokyo Pikachu, eventually I might have to get those because I think I want to get all of the cards that have Charizard in like in the picture as well. Or some kind of Charizard in the picture. This looks really cool for a Hyper Rare. Got the Mimikyu VMAX. These are technically trainer galleries. I mean, they, they, they're an official subset. But like this one right here with the set number, we call it an alternate art. The Batman Noivern, I guess. Got the Origin Form, Palkia V, and the Secret Rare. Then we have some Sleepy Pikas, we've got the Pretend Comedian Pikachu, we've got some Pikachu VMAXs plus the uh, the gold. There's Pikachu and Zekrom GX, that was a nice promo. I wouldn't mind uh, having a few more of those box boxes like that come out. Got some Radiance, Blastoise, Charizard, both Japanese and English, the Radiant EV, Radiant Venusaur, Rayquaza VMAX. Of course, we skipped right over the Premium Collection GX. This Rest Ram and Charizard GX, I wonder if this is going to age well. I mean, right now the prices come down quite a bit from even where I was investing in those things. I believe around like 300 bucks. Last I checked, it was maybe like 150 or so. Could be up or down. It's been a little bit since I've sold one. There's a special delivery Charizard. But those were just a little bit more difficult to obtain because you could only get them through big box retailers. So I knew that people weren't submitting them in mass from being able to buy them through a distributor, which that's something that a lot of people make plays on when they can get large amounts. See, I didn't think this right here was a, um, an alternate art, but it, but it actually is. It doesn't, it doesn't really fit the same description that or like this right here. You can definitely tell there's just something that draws your eyes in. Whereas those Urshifus, I feel like there's just too much going on. But a lot of times people make plays on cards that they can get direct through distribution and break down and have massive quantities of. Like the uh, Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, the alternate arts that you could get in the collection boxes man i wish i would have broken those down but i moved those things so fast it was just like a quick profit here you can see there were quite a few doubles of some of these cards but they have been spread out through different times for the auction block and uh, i believe that this card is just one of those very popular cards that we're going to see move no matter how many of them that there are now this wasn't all this guy had he also had some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff too and if you're looking to just find all these cards they're going to have CS2 in the title. They should be starting Thursday night, uh, the, the 9th. So if this is after the 9th when you guys see the video, they should already be up for sale. And you could just put CS2 into my store, and you're going to be, be able to see any of these cards that we've just looked at. Now, there's also more cards that we're going to be that are up for con consignment. Here, I have a few lots. Typically, I don't show these, but I'm going to just briefly touch on This is like a Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and a Pidgeot, all 9.5 BGS graded. And it's in a lot. And a lot of times, 
yeah, these lots you can get good deals on. This is going to be a Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill. You've got Geodude, Graveler, and a Golem. And then you also have here, I believe this is a Garchomp, uh, Gabite, and Gibble. Two of them are pristine 10s, whereas the, the last one I want to say is an, a 9.5. So it's still pretty high grades. All from that world promo pack. Here we've got a few more CGC uh, grades. This is all, this is a different consignment. CS10. We can see right here we've got the Mewtwo Level X, the Latios Delta Species, the Rayquaza C, and then we also have a, a red Cardass Prism. Somebody from PSA, if you see this, please start distinguishing between the red and the green. Like it's two completely different releases, it's two different colors. Like I don't know why I can't get them to acknowledge those two. I've, I've submitted a request for it, but so far I have not heard anything. Now, whether or not you thought there was going to be, there is actually going to be a giveaway during this video. So the guy who submitted these two cards right here, the Light Dragonite and the Torchic, so right there's CS5. He also submitted two cards right here, which he said if they're not if it wouldn't be smart to sell them in consignment which i don't think it is this is about a 25 dollars card in mint this one's kind of light play with the light blastoise and i have a five dollar raw fee plus a 20 like it, he would be in the negative and definitely negative on the yanma so we're going to give these away uh, for this video so if you guys want to enter the giveaway all you have to do is put a comment down there in the comment section if you made it all the way to here without me announcing the giveaway uh, you're, you're doing you're doing pretty good you're doing pretty solid but all you have to do is put a comment down there in the comment section of course if you like and subscribe that's a bonus too but i'm not going to require it for this video because if you made it this far you've already uh you probably subscribed to the channel anyways and if you're not that's okay you're still listening in quite a ways all right now there's an here's another consignment CS16, we've got a Blastoise from Celebrations. There's a Ferocide Girl. We saw one of those Japanese from that other one. There's an Irida, Lugia V. There's a, the Full Art Lugia V. And then we also had the Lugia V Star, which I've heard this is pretty playable now. There's the Marnie's Pride. What else do we have here? Got the Mimikyu V Max. Got the, uh, this is the 20th anniversary of the CP6, so it is the reprint. Got uh, a Palkia V Star and a 9. Got a second one there. Then we have the Pikachu from Crown Zenith and a 9. There's another alternate art with the Sandaconda. I believe every time I've said it, I've said Sandaconda, but yeah, it's Sandaconda. Shining Magic Art. Then we have the Suicune from the promo. This is from the Neo 3 binder. You couldn't get that in the booster packs. Then we're going to finish off with another reprint of the Here Comes Team Rocket. Let's see, what else do we have here? We're getting pretty low on the consignments now. I think we're down to the last three items, which are oversized. So we have a Black Triangle Error booster pack here. This one's in Gem Mint 10 condition. You can see right there, it has that Black Triangle Error which just means that there was a first edition stamp printed on it, but it was unlimited booster packs. So the cards inside are unlimited. Uh, next up, I told him this right here. I didn't know if it was going to do well, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot. So we have a VGA 85 plus trainer video. You can see right there where it says not for resale. This is sealed. I don't know if it actually has a promo. It says promo... <clears throat> So that's not for resale, but I don't think it actually has a promo card in there. So if you see that, don't think that it, it has a promo inside of it. If it does, then uh, it has gotten past me. I didn't realize it because usually I collect everything that has like an old promo in it. And then last but not least, we have this right here. We have a sealed Pikachu. And this is 9.0. I'm actually going to take it out of this case because the more I see these the game cases that CDC has, the more I like these. I think they're just really clean. Got the smooth corners that's actually sealed. Seems like you, it's it's pretty. It's like it's going to do well against damage too. I know the Wada ones. I I don't know if they've changed it much, but those used to be able to break open really easy. In the um, the VGA ones for like the games like this, you can actually like squeeze in and have there's space in there, so they're not airtight. Well, not airtight, but I, they're definitely not like waterproof. I don't know if this is airtight either, but it has the similar feel to like a trading card case. You know, it's got the rounded corners, it's kind of beveled. It's just, I believe this is very nicely put together. But anyways, this is a 9.0, the grade A on the seal. I don't know how the seal ratings go uh, for CGC. I, I've been told with WADA, if you have like an A+, plus, that's pretty good. But A++ plus plus is like crazy good. And then you get down to like a regular A, it's not that great. But I don't know how that works on CGC side, if they go up to like an A+, plus or an A++, plus plus or anything like that. But... This it's graded at 90 and it's got an A seal, so it's a sealed game. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you want to enter that giveaway for this Claire's Blastoise and this Yanma, which was being given away by the guy who has these two items, CS5 in the title, the Torchic and the Light Dragonite in a 10, then uh, all you have to do is put a comment down there in the comment section. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.